What's up guys? How you doing? I'm Chris. I'm sweating because it's hot as hell in my garage. You're watching the Riding Dad channel and today's video is going to be about putting tire paint on my Harley Davidson tires. So let's roll the intro and get into it. Riding down a YouTube channel, it's the Riding Dad, 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 a So this is the tire rank I got. It was a two-pack. I got on uh, Amazon. They have all these different colors, but obviously one with white because my little rider is a white and black paint scheme. I'm assuming there will be some more uh, instructions on this, but now I'm trying to get this out without using my knife, which is inside the house. And uh, hot tip, start by outlining the letter before filling it in. Apply the ink using short one centimeter strokes. Uh, clean tires with acetone slash degreaser, which I have acetone. Uh, shake pen with cap in place. This, these do have a switchable tip on them. You could uh, take the tip out, put it back in upside down, like reverse, and there's a fat tip and a, and a skinny tip. So what my game plan is, is to have one marker with a skinny tip and one marker with a fat tip. And I plan on using uh, both markers for both tires since I'm doing both sides of each tire with the Harley Davidson mark on it. For best results, apply three coats. Uh, we're going to shoot for three as a minimum. And then press against the designated priming area below until ink begins to flow. All right, actually, let me get my knife. All right, knife was in the bedroom and the wife is sleeping, so at risk of waking her up, I got some scissors. Oh, so easy now. All right, let's see what these puppies say on the back of them. How to apply thorough clean tires using acetone, shake pen with cap in place, prime marker tip by pressing against any solid surface until ink begins to flow. For best results, apply three coats. I don't see any warnings on here, which is interesting, especially because this says caution, I irritant, see caution on back panel. No caution here, no caution here. So I'm gonna do this with the garage door open anyway. And uh, if you're going to do this, besides having the acetone, um, I just think in general, oh, you know what? Here we go. Flammable, keep out of reach of children, harmful as wild, recap after use. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, let's see what we got in here. Oh, do they unscrew? And just, huh? oh, there you go. Tip goes in and out. All right, well, let's clean the tires with acetone. Mm -hmm. All right, so the tires are done. It took me about four hours, uh, give or take, but I let them dry. Uh, I started my stopwatch, my timer, at the end of the first side of the first tire, and then I let that go. Obviously, I did it back to back to back, 
and then as soon as that was at 45 minutes i even looked online where i got them i got them on amazon and the link will be in the video description but nowhere it said let it dry you know between coats but nowhere did it say how long it was supposed to dry for so it was kind of anyone's guess i did 45 minutes it was very dry uh to the touch and uh i think they came out really good uh, they're not really expensive. It's just going to take a lot of time and it's, you're going to have to really be patient. So in the beginning, I started with that chisel tip because I thought it was going to be easier given that it had like an actual tip to it. And, uh, it was just too hard to get that flat and I wound up just kind of poking it and making too many lines within the paint. So, uh, about halfway through the first coat, I switched to the more round, rounded tip, uh, the tip that comes inserted regularly on them. And that worked a lot better. I shook it up uh, probably about every three to four letters, put the cap on, gave it another shake to make sure the paint didn't settle at all and I get the best coat possible. Uh, and then I also had to, um, they call it priming, like priming it, but I also did that because my tires were not flat and they were sideways so the paint wasn't flowing directly through uh, to the tip. So I did that uh, about every time I shook it as well. The only thing I will say that makes it kind of... Uh, not really annoying but kind of tedious and kind of difficult is if you've ever tried to black something out with like a sharpie type marker where the second coat uh, after that if you push too hard and you kind of dwindle in the same spot multiple times that like re-wets the first coat and then you almost like strip the first coat and you have like nothing and it has like a lot of patterns this paint does that so for your second and after coats you got to be like really really uh really very light with it and really try not to like once you're at a spot get that spot and move on don't like if you know you got to really be as close to perfect on your first try as possible because if you keep going it digs in and then you almost have to like play catch up to fix that spot again so uh the package says three coats recommended i did four because I had the paint and I switched pens, you could tell it was getting dry and the weight was noticeably differ, different uh, after my second coat of all, all four sides, all two tires. So I switched pens halfway through uh, for my third and fourth coats and I think it came out really good. Uh, at the end of this, I'm gonna post uh, pictures of my first coat, my second coat, my third coat, and my fourth coat on the same tire so you can see uh, the, the finishing touch. There are going to be some very slight imperfections in this that if you're anywhere two feet and above away, uh, at least for me, I can't see them. But it's when you get real up, which I know the most most part, no one's going to be this distance uh, to your tires. But if you want to fix it, uh, and I might at some point, probably not, honestly, because this is a lot of time just to spend on tires. And it, like I said, two feet and beyond, you can't even see these, but they're very small little kind of smudges. Right at the hair out, like one, I primed the, the pen too much on the start of one of the H's for Harley. And there's like a hole, like it dripped a little bit because there was just a gigantic bubble of it. So like small stuff like that. And anyway, you can take acetone um, either on like, uh, either like the, I wouldn't really recommend this, but like the tip of an X-Acto knife kind of thing. If you really just need to get like a very, very, very slight edge or like a Q-tip or a colored pencil tip, you know, like a screwdriver tip, anything like that, uh, acetone will clean this up. Otherwise, this claims that it's supposed to last for up to one year. Uh, I'm hoping I get even more, well, tires aren't going to last more than one year so I, I don't really think it matters but i would say in a bike that you're not driving every day like me and that i'm keeping in my garage all the time i would say that i'd probably get more than a year if my tires would last so long but being a motorcycle it, you know the tires don't last as long as cars so uh, good product initial review of it uh, good tedious like i said about four hours for all four tires riding that harley davidson logo easy to work with just uh especially once you get used to it but uh, hopefully you're not going to see another video from me in like three, four months and say, hey, this is crap. Don't buy it because it worn out. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Right after this, you'll see those four pictures and let me know in the comments what you think. Again, please like, subscribe, all that. It helps. I say it every video because it really does. So uh, ride safe. Have fun. Until next time, guys. Dad out.